We're back. You just saw a commercial for Arthur Hamilton's show, Blunts and Brunch. It is so much fun to watch every time. It's like a party in an, in an episode, so you gotta check it out. All right, so we're back. We have done the bronze and the silver, and we are up to the gold medal topics, which that means we think these are the biggest sports stories of the week. So, Russell, start us off. What's your biggest sports story of the week? What's your gold medal podium topic? My gold medal podium is Jimmy Garoppolo. And not just Jimmy Garoppolo, but the team that had the opportunity to grab Jimmy Garoppolo. I have to watch him tear it up the San Francisco 49ers. Um, you know, good for the Niners to have identified Jimmy Garoppolo as their guy they want to go forward and get that trade, pulling the trigger, and grabbing him. Uh, and he looks like a guy who, who's going to get paid this offseason. Um, you know, just surrender. He's making unbelievable throws. He's having 300 yard games. And I want people to realize they're, they're what, 4 0 or 5 0 with Jimmy Garoppolo uh, uh, quarterback. And the San Francisco, I don't want people to, under, uh, to, to, get, to misconstrue this. The San Francisco 49ers are awful at football. Like, no talent. Yet, as we often hear about good football players and good quarterbacks, they raise the, the level of their teammates around them. And Tom Brady like. Uh, so, so power, you know, shout out to the 49ers and John Lynch in his first year uh, for what he's doing with Jim Garoppolo and good for Kyle Shannon. And to have a quarterback that he can build around for the future. Um, but I just want to go through a couple of teams that could have had a chance to get Jimmy Garoppolo. But for, for my exclusions, I'm going to exclude the teams that have drafted a quarterback in the last one or two years. So teams like the Bears, the Rams, the Tech. I, uh, who all drafted young quarterback in the last year or two, they're excluded from this. And then teams like, you know, the Packers, of course, Aaron Rodgers, Brady, uh, Derek Hart, all those guys. But there are 10 teams that really, really could have had a shot uh, in the ground, but, but missed their opportunity. Those teams being Jacksonville, Cincinnati, the Broncos, Buffalo, the Miami Dolphins, Arizona, they drafted the young quarterback, but when you see Deshaun Cogger, you know why. <laughs> uh, they the always are the ball. exception of the rule. And then the New York yeah. Um The one team on that stands out to me on this list, like we talked about earlier, the Jacksonville Jaguars. If they had Jimmy Garoppolo as their quarterback, they, they, they'd be some a sweeper Super Bowl contender. Because every time we talk about the Jaguars and what they can and can't do, it's already always worth and his inability to play. Now, I'll give him some credit. He's been playing well lately. He hasn't been turning the ball nearly as much, been making some big throws. At the same time, I portals to lead the Jaguars to playoff victories. I, I trust that their defense is going to hold teams under 20 points, and, and they're going to win games that way. And they give from portals is gravy. But if they were able somehow to swing a deal for Jimmy Garoppolo, that team would be likely years ahead. They're a solid team right now. They have a great running back with Leonard Fournette. They have really good special teams. They have good defense with uh, a defense left, I believe, Jackson. And now Jalen Ramsey. That's a solid team with a just trash quarterback. So they could have – just think of what that team could have been. And with Leonard Fournette. And that hard hitting defense. That that be a team that I roll with that team. Yeah, uh, I can give you two teams I might prefer even more than the Jacksonville Jaguars, and that, that's a great choice. Um, the first one, and this might be controversial, the Minnesota Vikings. Hmm. Could you imagine if Case Keenum was replaced by Jimmy Garoppolo? That's the scariest team in the NFC. Um, and I don't think people realize that because they have a lot yeah. of wins, and but I think it's kind of a false season. Yeah, they're not going to the Super Bowl. If they had Jimmy Garoppolo, they would be the Super Bowl favorites in the NFC. Exactly. Um, another one I'd like to give you, um, just because I feel so bad for this man, Larry Fitzgerald and the Arizona Cardinals. Yeah. Could you imagine those two together? Because yeah. Jimmy Garoppolo needs a receiver in the end. He's throwing to... Five foot eight Trent Taylor, who looks like I, mean, I do. I can't even and, name any of the 49ers. He looks like me, dude. He's like a five foot eight white guy. And he's like Marquise running around. Goodwin. That's the 
Yeah. The only one I know. Wow. Yeah, it's 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 just he's doing this with nothing, a la Tom Brady, who he learned from. It's very uh, reminiscent of those Dion Branch days. He's making Dion Branch like a fifty million dollar receiver. Yeah. And so, it, like, I would love to see him with Larry Fitzgerald bec- and and Adrian Peterson. Yeah. That would be fun. Yeah. Uh, and you have a great defense with Don't Patrick Peterson and. And so I, I think, and and you have a good coach there. I think that that would be one of my great choices. And of course, the Miami Dolphins, um, uh, Jay Cutler versus Jimmy Garoppolo. I mean, the difference is night and day. Yeah. You know, but uh, what do you think? Uh, I mean, I slept on Jimmy G. I mean, I said in the past that I didn't see him as like an elite quarterback, but I, I think he's on the way there now. I, I got to take it back. You know, I apologize to him. He's he, I mean, he hit the ground put, running a lot quicker than I thought. I, as yeah, well. I mean, to to put it forty four up on that Jaguars defense, that was very impressive. With a with an offense that with is, a butter knife. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. It's just like I feel like the Jaguars had every reason. Like I mean, those guys. That's a great defense with speed and athleticism. And Jimmy tore them up. And it, and it's not. He hasn't been playing for the 49ers the whole entire season as well. So, he's just learning their playbook, and that, and that's it's amazing to me what he's been able to do, like you said, with a butter knife. And I mean, he's on track to really get paid this off season, man. And I, oh, yeah. I'm excited to see who who brings the bag out for Jimmy Garoppolo. Oh well, the 49ers at this point, the only way they're going to sell season tickets is if they have Jimmy Garoppolo. They have to give him like pretty much. Like the equivalent of the max. Like mm-hmm. You're going to have to give him the Derek Carr contract. He's going to have to make over 20. It's going to be the Derek Carr contract and maybe more. You know, he might be the top paid quarterback next year and he only played like five or six games. Yeah. Jimmy, watch your condoms, bro. Yeah. Jimmy Garoppolo is not the level <laughs> where Coles will be poked in his condoms. <laughs> watch your condoms, Jimmy. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Get you a condom guy. In fact, I ain't got, <laughs> hey, I ain't got no job right now. I watch your condoms. I will be your condom guy, Jimmy Garoppolo. I will make sure they are whole free. I ain't got no job. I ain't got, <laughs> I ain't got no real job, bro. Postmates. Post, Postmates killing a nigga. I will be your condom guy. Oh, my God. I'll do I'll do a 15 an hour. Oh, your your parents are so proud of you right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I ain't got no degree. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No degree, condom guy. That's, just, <laughs> degree. That's all you can do. If you drop out of Oral Roberts, you'd be looking after condoms for Jimmy Garoppolo. Sounds like a winning thing to me, man. Uh, Sounds this is a lot better than sitting behind a desk. Yeah. Being Jimmy Garoppolo's condom guy. Uh, yeah. Hey, school kids. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't end up like our co-host, <laughs> Niles Apton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cause notice how Russell and I, we have degrees and we're like, that sounds idiotic. <laughs> yeah, man, I, I'm, I got a degree in my field, I'm good. You tell me how Jimmy G, uh... <laughs> yeah, uh I'm just trying to make it, man. I'm just trying to make it. Uh, weirdest security guard ever. Alright, so I think that uh, about wraps it up for the gold medal topic, right guys? Wraps it up. See what I did there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm hilarious. You can you can tell you can tell I'm a professional comedian. Wait, you did your goal? You did Eli Apple? No, no, I'm no. I'm saying wraps it up for his. Oh, goal. okay. That's what I said. Yeah, you didn't do yours. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, um, Niles, do you want uh, do you want to go on to your gold medal podium topic this week? Yeah, 